All right. Hello, world. It's a little, little different again tonight. Uh, no music coming over that you can hear. I've got my headphones, though. I kind of prefer not to be wearing these big ones, but my little ones have died. And I think my other little ones have also died, so I've paid $10 to have some show up that I actually probably be here tomorrow, so that'd be nice. Um, but yeah, so sorry about the no music, but I put a little message. Yeah, I put a little message down there. There. Uh, just letting you know that that's not going to be a thing tonight. Um, also, I may have to bounce out and do some work. Um, which is going to be unfortunate, but that sometimes happens. Um, but we'll see what happens. When is this? Hang on, sorry. 15. 25. Okay, so that's all good. Never mind. Okay, cool. Um, so, Netlify. Well, so, I yeah, I got to figure out what I want to do first. Let me... All right, we'll go ahead and check out the video assembler. Um, so it's working very nicely. And we set up yesterday to do storage, transitions, output. All right, how many are in there? 16, oh wow. Okay, good, just delete the right ones. So I was going to make transitions. I, so basically what I did, there's all these different types of transitions that GL has. And I wanted to see, get like samples of them at different rates. So here's Angular at three and a half seconds, which is too long, too slow. Um, So I, l last night I wrote a script that basically went through and did all the assembly. And so I made it, and I also set these up so that I can upload them to YouTube. Um, Cause I figure if I've gone through this work it, everybody else should be able to see them too. Um, so that's something actually that I'll work on. I need to make that a thing. Uh oh, where'd it go? There it is. Don't know why it's so small, but that's okay. Twitch ID is build YouTube uploader for GL transition samples. There we go. Close that, close that. Get better about closing tabs. Um, but so what I went, do, what I did, and so um, right over here, circle open, and so you can see just a couple more, right? So here's circle open at a half second. Zip, and then circle open at five seconds. And so originally I was going to go all the way up to like nine seconds for the things. Um, but it ran all night last night. Oh, I guess it was the color fade. Ooh, that one's kind of trippy. Um, but I figure five seconds is good enough. Uh, and also, like, it took all day to get there. Well, maybe I'll run it tonight and let them get there. Yeah, why not? Probably do that. Um, it's not really taking up all that much. Well, it's about 20 gigs so far. So, um, And the other thing I did with it was... I did calculations so that each there's only three seconds before the transition and three seconds after the transition, regardless of how long the transition is. So if it's a half second, there's very close, like the whole thing's like six and a half seconds. If it's five seconds, it's three plus three is six plus five is 11, right? So here's an 11 second one or 12 because it's five and a half, whatever. Um, so wipe up. Which I think goes the opposite direction of what you would expect. Yeah. That does not look like wipe up to me. But whatever. Um, so I've want, I've gone through and I've picked a bunch of those. Originally what I was going to do is... In the config file, 
I was going to give it the types that I like. And so there's, the, originally there was nine in the FFmpeg concat list. I realized there's a whole bunch more if you go look at the GL page. So those all work. But I was just going to pick these, and I was going to give them a minimum time and a maximum time, and then a wait for the randomness of the waiting. Um, and then just have it make, basically make a weighted judgment for which one it picks, and then a random judgment in here for which one it uses. What I've done now, surprised that this is doing this this way. What transitions? Oh, that's the output. Uh, here's the actual transitions, the one that we made. So what I've done now is gone through it and picked the ones that I liked out of that sample set. And I've put in specific times for the ones that I like. So bow tie horizontal. Let's go find bow tie horizontal. There's bow tie horizontal. At 500 milliseconds. So this is one that's in the mix. Also in the mix is bow tie horizontal at three seconds or 3000 milliseconds, whatever. Here. So I thought that would just be so, but those are each in there independently. So I'm not randomizing the times I'm specifying the times that I want to use. And then I'm adding the weights for the random distribution individually for each transition for each duration. So the next step is going to be to just kind of put that in the mix. Um, and the other thing that I'll need to do is watch, for example, if this undulating burnout at four and a quarter seconds, I need to make sure that I'm not trying to put that on top of clips that don't get to the four seconds, right? So, um, Words undulating burnout. R T undulating burnout for and a quarter seconds. It's kind of ridiculous, right? I'm very much waiting these things to not do these special effects very much. Um, but I do want them in the mix a little bit just for fun, right? So let's see, that was 10 seconds with six seconds. So yeah, so it needs it needs a solid four seconds. For the transition. So you want to make sure that the videos that are oh that are it's overlaying are at least five seconds, right? I mean, so it should be like the number of seconds plus plus a second at least, maybe two. Um, so that's what we're going to do now. Uh, I was going to play with Netlify a little bit, but I may do that in a little bit. But I'm kind of I'm kind of ready for this one to wrap up. Um, I still need to, well, so basically right now it's it comes down to processing power. Um, the the machine over here is going through and, cut, and doing all the cut ups um, to pull out all the clips. And I want that to go for a while. So I've got a large set of clips to, to mess with um, before I put this at it because um, I want to turn it on and go, right? I've got enough clips that you could start now, but like I wouldn't want to put the full MP3 library at it because it would not have enough to feed that. So that's okay. So here's where we're going to try and figure out. So there's our integration. All right, so what do we need to do to get this going? In the MP3 file, which does the assembly, it's gonna build the transitions JSON. And so that's right here. Transitions file right, concat JSON v2. All right, where's concat JSON v2? Probably up here with the alphabetic orderness of it. 
I hope. Yeah, okay. So transitions, transition weights. So this is going to go through... Sorry, my music got very quiet and I need a little something else going. Let's see what else we got going on here. I'm kind of tired of all my music. Let's try this. That's good. It's so weird that I can, on one computer, adjust the songs and the volume on another computer. I mean, it's simple, right? But like, Still cool. Still gets me. Yeah, see, this is going for random. So here's where we do the random enters. So here's where we pick the time. So the first thing we need to do, do we have a test for this? Yeah. So this has a random seed associated with it of two. Because, sure. So really what I need to do is make def test concat. Do this. Sorry, I got to watch Slack. It's really transition JSON. Transition JSON string self. Expected equals All right, I'm just going to call this to start with by itself to do figure out how to make sure the transitions are not are not longer 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 than the videos. So we're going to do our standard here of just get the test going. Make sure everything passes. Passed. Cool. I should actually just run the full test here, right? Not a bad idea. OK. And so This one I loaded back in. Because it's really a, well, you could pass back the JSON object, right? I'm trying to figure out what the best way to do that is. Um, but you don't really want the JSON. Well, you could just write it to dump with dumps. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Let's actually pass back JSON this time. So last time I was actually writing a string. But it's just as easy to like pass the JSON object and then just do JSON dumps. Right? Okay, yeah, let's do that. So this MP3 file. Transition JSON. I'll just call it transition JSON, right? It's not a string anymore. So that doesn't exist. Let's make it exist. Uh, let's put these things in the right place. How about that? You go here, you go here, you go away. Uh. 
JSON object equals whatever. Leave that for now. Return JSON object. So our test should pass. But if we put this in, they won't. Just make sure everything's working the way we expected. Yep. But if we put this in here, it should pass again. There we go, passing. OK. So we need to pass some stuff to this, which is going to be well, it can have access to our transitions already. Oh, it needs, yeah, we need to know how many to add. And the durations. Wait, durations. That doesn't make sense. I'm not using it. What was I doing that for? I don't know. It's going to go away anyways. So we just need to know. <clears throat> yeah, this is where it's going to get a little dicey, but that's OK. Um, oh, yeah, durations. That's right. We need to know the durations because we're that's actually what we're going to use to do the clipping or to make sure that we're not doing too much. But to start with, let's just randomly pick one. Um, so we also need to do I need to do transitions v2, so it's going to come in a different way. So let's do this. Uh, where's our config file? It's in our test, so that's what gets made. Here's our new one. Where's our config dev? OK. Can we duplicate this? So I don't want to I don't want to break I don't want to break existing stuff, but I still want this thing named transitions. Actually, I guess I can call it transitions v2. That's OK. Put all these in. I'm just looking for the structure at this point. So those all go in there. We don't need transition temp. This was their old, that was just holding them. So when we ran a test on the old one, we could just make sure that everything ran fade with zero because I wanted to see smash cut stuff happen. Hello, version all the things. Exactly. How's it going, Alice? Hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful day. And if you're stateside, happy Thanksgiving. If you're not, happy Thursday. Uh, also, my chat's a little far away right now, so sorry about that. My monitor setup is not what it should be, or it's not what I would desire it to be. Let's see if I can move it closer and see it. There we go. If you hear a crash, that's another computer falling off the thing, but it'd be fine. It's made of, you know, metal. Um, oh, also, I didn't see the GIF change. I still didn't know who Alice is. Wait, what? Is that you? I don't know what's going on. Is that you? If that's not you, this is going to be very confusing. I'm super confused. 
Okay. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Maybe. I'm afraid I got a mic on. Do I have another mic on somewhere? How's... I need to know... Whatever. <laughs> I need like a test. I need like a Turing test to be like, show up over here and then over here at the same time. Um. All right, I'm completely flustered now. Yeah, I figured. How? Where did that name come from? Also, I didn't know you were on Twitch. Uh. Okay, so that's in there. Oh, go away. I mostly don't believe you. Because I don't see it, but I don't know what it looks like anymore. Whatever. Um. <laughs> oh, God. See, look at this. Infrastructure is code. How about that? It's not infrastructure as code. Um. All right, what was I doing? Oh yeah, we're gonna pick a weight. We're gonna pick a transition. So that can hang out there, that's fine. Uh, it, so to the person who may or may not be listening, how are things going with the movement of the data they were waiting on? Because that would be something else I would like to know. Answer me, riddle me that. Also, it doesn't look like the throughputs. Oh, the throughput maxed out at about 45, 50. Yeah, the throughput maxed out on the last run at 50 megabit at 945 to 950. So we didn't peek out. Yeah, okay. That that gave us enough space. So we can probably bring it down to like 60 or something. But it's super weird because it spiked up to like 90 or 97 last time. I don't know. I've already worn the stream. I might have to do work stuff. I think that means they have to pay me like broadcast rights or something now. Or like, what's the, um, what's the international thing of actors? I think I get one of those rate cards now. Guild. All right, so we're going to load in transitions v2. Transitions v2. And what are those going to look like? Here, we'll just do two of them here. It's fine. It's probably what we should have done the first time anyways. Um, And so we send this, this is gonna break because it's not expecting it. Everything exploded, that's what we expected. Why is this all the way over here? It should be over here. Self, there we go, go. All right, we passing again? Yes, we're passing again. I want to know about that name. Uh, so we've got transitions v2. And then what we're going to do is pick one.
random transition equals rand int from one, no, from zero to length of transitions self transition v2. Why is that angry? Okay. And that actually just has, oh yeah, we can throw that straight in it now because it's got the duration in it. So that's cool. So if we do this and we throw this in, that's going to explode because there's no way that's the right thing, but maybe we got close. We got zero. How do we get zero? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Dark net. I, I'm not laughing because that might be true, but like, it's just, it's a funny thing. Uh, first difference, zero element. That is not equal to zero. How did we get zero in there? Transition V2 is coming in here. Oh, 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 oh. It gave us a random number. So we got to make one of these ugly things where we do this, 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 this. Whoops. List object is not callable. What? Oh. This. Maybe. Let's try this. There we go. All right, so now I know. Yeah, so this is what we want to have. That's cool. I don't care. Do we just need to get the match? Which would be this. There we go. So let's move this down so it's alphabetized while we're at it. Even though that's not. All right, let's run a little test. I think it's passing now. Yep, okay. Okay, so we got that. Now, how do we... We need to do pass the length to it to know how many to do. And I actually want to pass the length of three this time. So let's pass that. Which is going to explode because we don't have that there, but we can make that happen. Now it should pass. So the range is three. So for uh, whatever, I, it's not a good name, but whatever. Range from one to length, because that'll give us one less than the actual length, which is what we want, because we only want LN GTH. Why isn't that working? I should make this an instance variable probably, but I'm not doing that right now. So this is gonna break because we're adding two things in here, both randomly. Try in range. That should have broken. Why didn't that break? Why didn't that break? That's super weird. Length. 
one, two, three. That should have make, made two. Of, oh, we're not. We're, yeah, we're returning it. What? Oh, return it after the first one. I gotcha. That's why. Now it's going to break. There we go. So here's the full thing we're going to look for. No, here's the full thing we're going to look for. Whatever, do that. All right. Oh, it did it both times. Okay, whatever. That's how random works sometimes. Except I kind of want to see something different. So we're going to add some more transitions in. Uh, just add a bunch. If it stopped messing with me, I would get there. There we go. Okay, so now it's going to break because it's going to have a different set that's going to freak out the random. Yeah, okay, so we got different runs this time, which is cool. It's funny that it put the order different this time, but I don't care about that. Yeah, I do. I just want to see it here. It's just an object though, so it should still be fine. Put that there. See if that's actually legit. Nope. What happened? Oh, it's got a specific order to the list. Aha. I can't read these pluses and minuses to know what's going on. If I do this, does this work? Nope. Bad, what? How is that possible? What's going on? Oh, there's a minus sign there. Okay, we're at least in the ballpark. So this is should be the expected. Oh, come on. Select. Survey says passed. Run them all. Passing. Okay, cool. All right, now I have to figure out how to test this thing where if it's, if the weight's more to go get the next one. So durations is set up. Uh... <laughs> Well, how long have we been working? Now's not now's not a good time to talk about that. <laughs> uh Right? Testing turns out is an interesting concept. Uh, also, I'm not very good at it, so this is don't take this as a prime example. Um, but if we pass, yeah, so durations comes in. Also, this code's crap. But just kind of kept. -ing. 
pen clip clip duration. Yeah, so we got durations. So we can send durations in. And this actually works okay. I need this one to go away. And this one to go away. Durations. Oh, you could actually just pull length from durations if we pass, dura pass durations in. So let's make the first one. Yeah, this actually works good because the first duration is three seconds. So we should actually go past that. Three, five, no, three. Well, how would the duration work? Yeah, it needs to be larger than, oh, sorry, it needs to be like one second shorter than both of the clips that are surrounding it. So whatever, we'll do 227, which I think is a show. <clears throat> Bandaid power. Um, sorry, no, this is. Communication channels are fun, right? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> um, all right, so we've got our durations. So let's actually just pass durations and not pass length because that doesn't need to happen, right? We can do the math there. So this is going to explode. Length is not defined. Yeah, so for length of durations. Now we're passing. OK. We should open up Zoom too. And just, and then uh, Teams. We can set up a Teams meeting. Uh, okay, this might not be awful. So this is passing. And it's just got durations going. So that's sweet. I kind of want to make that go to an instance variable. I probably will in a minute, but let me just solve this first. So random transitions. This is going to have our JSON object in it with Or it's already it's an object. Sorry, it's a it's just a straight object, but it's got the duration in there. So we can do this. Oh, we need to do crap. I need to enumerate and pull indexes. Maybe. Maybe not, because I need to get. I mean, you can already use the index just off of I coming in. I mean, you have to bounce out one or whatever. And I'm not looking for 
I need to get two values, so I might as well do it anyways. Um, oh, but how would you deal with the first one? Um, oh, it goes to zero anyways. Okay. Is that going to work on the tail end? We'll see in a second. So... Start clip duration is durations of I minus one. And then in clip duration equals durations for I. Am I making this up? Let's look at these. Uh, it should be, these should both be two. Actually, let's do this so we can see a difference. Two, two, and three. Or two, three, two, three, seven. But we should see two and three here for those two values. Start clip two, in clip three. Okay, cool. So from there, times a thousand because we want to compare milliseconds times a thousand yeah, this is gonna be a little gross but whatever so save to Transition equals false while safe to transition. Oops. What's the star function? Of, uh, let's start unpacking something. No, so that is. Um, I just found this the other day. I don't know how to make a new file on this, apparently. What the hell's going on? How is that not making a new file? Control, what the hell is going on? Is it because that's there? Control in isn't working right now. That's super weird. Um, now what it is is if you do def, thing and then so I'm not inside a class so I'm not going to do self but if you do uh star comma a comma b it requires a and b to be passed um so if you call whatever if you don't it makes them required arguments and they're not um, just like your tab key. Because <laughs> uh, I think, right, if you don't, let me just make sure I'm not off here. Whoops. Require positional argument B. It does something. I can't remember what it does. It's not unpacking. There was definitely a reason I was doing this. Force parameters of the keyword as only arguments. Oh, 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 that's right. It makes it not, so it's, so you can't do it as positional. So if I do one, two here, that goes in A and B but we don't want to have that happen. It makes them only keyword arguments. Yeah, I think you just got it too. That's exactly right. And so I want 
I want really explicit values. I want to use keyword arguments and I want them named and I want them explicit so that everything's, I want, I want stuff to crash hard if you don't pass the right stuff to it. Yeah, I, I really like that. I'm a big fan of having like, have the right thing happen and have it explode if the, don't keep going if you pass something weird, basically. I started doing it for everything. Because the number of times, because like there's no, like if, you know, if you typoed and you went C equals whatever, um, you'd still, I guess that would still pass, but like. Does it crash if you don't give it the right? Yeah. I guess mainly that just saves you from inverting stuff. Um, but again, I just like explicit over implicit. So. And then I like keywords. I like requiring keywords, basically. So that fails, right? Yeah. I knew there was a reason I was doing it. I just couldn't remember what it was. So there you go. Things that come to hand before args and keyword args, yeah. Yeah, I don't like to, the just a generic. Like, so, I mean, occasionally you need to pass like a generic batch of stuff that's not, that you're gonna process like in general, that's fine. But like, if it's a specific thing, like name it the thing. Uh, so, while safe to transition, so, So, uh, clip duration if start clip duration is less than Oh, we actually need to pick the random translation or random transition. If that's less than, so I need to see oh, what's going on here. Uh, this would probably help. I need to see what's what the format of this is again, real quick. Has failed. Yes, expected. Oh crap! No, I want to see this. Not the test failing. It's supposed to stop here. Wait. Ah, come on. Messing with me. Well, I guess I'll just have to do it the old-fashioned way. So there's that. Oops. Keep hitting that file. I keep not meaning to hit that file. So this is what it looks like. What is going on? How did I not copy that? I'm pretty sure I did. All right. Oh, yeah, normally I've got music going, but it's just like copyright free music and I am so tired of listening to it that I'm listening to other stuff now, but I can't play it because it would get copyright hit. So there's our clip duration. If our start clip duration is less than random transition duration, Continue. If oh, so, here's our end clip duration. Our 
if that is equal is less than that continue otherwise we're down here and we can actually add it to that so I guess we don't really I mean you could just since you're continuing you could just do while true or whatever right I'm making that up no you definitely need to eject That works, right? You can do walls like that. Well, not. Okay, yeah, yeah, right. Pot Charm is really good about giving you um, hints and stuff. Like, it's really impressive. Because I think our test is going to fail now because the values are going to be different. Yeah. Sweet. So it's actually, it's blocking out the ones that it can't get to, which is exactly what it's supposed to do. It's weird though that it hit the same one twice. Do I not have very many in there? Test param. I thought I put a whole bunch of crap in there. I did. So why is that doing the same one twice? Uh, I think it's just the randomness. I just want to, this will break, but I just want to see, make sure it really is putting different crap in there. Yeah, there you go, some different stuff. Cube, film, burn, burn. okay, yeah, okay, we got some different stuff in there. Okay, so that's working. But we should add a second to each one of those. And I'm not going to super, like, I could go through and try and super test this, but, like, hopefully math works. So it's angry at those. Why is it angry at those? Oh! Because I'm putting it in the wrong place. That's why. Oh, and also, okay. So, A, yeah, I should check and see if I'm still passing. I'm not. What did I do? Oh, I never put in the corrected version. Here's the expected. Really wish those were different. Give me more confidence. But if I switch the random seed, it'll all freak out. Oh, it doesn't matter. No, no, this is whatever. These are completely independent. It's fine. So it's going to fail again because I added one. There we go. Gives me something different. Sweet. Do I want to know how things are looking on the um, data moving front or no? I don't know if you're still there, but I can get back at you another way. Ha 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 ha. All right. So this should all pass. Okay. So that made our JSON. We can get rid of this. Finished. The whole thing finished? I should do, do this over here.
Oh, okay. Got a bad feeling I know the answer to this one coming. <laughs> that delay is fun, right? Craziness. Craziness, I say. Uh, all right, we're going to call this make. <laughs> ah, archives. There you go. Okay. Uh, make transition JSON, right? Even though we're not actually. Update transition JSON. How about that? So really what I want to do is take this out. I lied. So we want to reset. No, do we have to reset it? No, because it's only this only happens once per. So we can take this out. Um. And then we just append here. And then we don't have to return this. And then this. Is this hopefully I can pass. I hope that passes. Okay, it passed. Now we got it in our um, um. Got me paranoid. I'm already paranoid, no like paranoid. <laughs> A 
also I can look over here and verify that the only thing that you can see is like this part of my screen. So yeah, actually it's kind of funny. So like you'll get a kick out of this. I think I showed you this before, but um, make sure it's actually cool. Yeah. The, uh, so that's the little area that I work off of. So when you see me working in there, whenever we're sharing, that's why, cause I'm so used to this area. Oh, I didn't blow up the fonts like I was supposed to. Oops. I know I was trying to do that so that people can see it on smaller screens, which is hard to work on, by the way. We're going to go down just a little bit. Keeps you really focused on specific pieces of code, though. I'll tell you that. All right, so here then... Why is that purple? Oh, I must click on somewhere else. Okay. Concat command. This is where we build everything. Transition file right. With open transition JSON, file, making transitions JSON. This is what we need to redo. So we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna open that. Do I have JSON already in here? No. I do. JSON file, right? Oh, we need to pass durations. It's called durations, right? Plural? Durations, yes, please. JSON dump self transition JSON into transition file. Right? We're not going to pick that up until we run an integration test. So let's try that. Where's our integration test? I feel like something's going to explode because we changed a lot of stuff. Transitions v2. Ah. Uh, that goes in the main file. V2, V2. <laughs> uh, that's my favorite debugging team. Actually, I'm thinking about trying to figure out how to do logging now, but um, I don't know if I'm actually getting into that. Uh, here we go. Okay, well, this is exactly what I need. V2. V2. All right. Nope. I changed a bunch of stuff. Transitions V2. Wait, what? I thought I put that in. That's assembler. Load. It's right here. Did I spell it wrong? Nope. Oh, because my integration test is different. I'm just testing the MP3 file. I remember this now. Uh, so where do we go? We get some of these, some of these, the 
those in. See, keywords. I like it when keywords break. Oh, made some stuff, but then it exploded. List index out of range. Hey, off by one errors. Random index. What is this in? Update JSON. So transitions, random, that needs to be a one. Wait, no. That's a zero. This is a length minus one. Is that right? Let's find out. So probably work or not. Ah, oh, come on. What did it do? Where'd it go up? Uh, this is the FFmpeg command. Concat error, number of transactions must equal the number of videos minus one. Okay. How'd that not work? So we're... I'm just guessing. It's an off by one error, so let's see if I went the right way. Nope, did not. Now it's an off by two error. Well, where did it break? There it is. Error number transitions. Yeah, so this is where we make them. So that's a one. This could be a minus one. I, I swear I thought that. I mean, that's where we add them, so. I mean, that kind of has to be it. I can't make that math work in my head, but we'll see what happens. If this doesn't work, then I'm really going to be. Oh, oh, I'm in trouble. Okay, something else is going on. What's going on? I'm not still writing the other file out, am I? No. Concat command. Okay, so we actually could go look at the file and see what's going on there. Okay, so it's making a good file. Launching. Do not print out here, hang on. Turn concat command. Also, that should have been its own thing. Where is make video? Make the video. I do print it. 
Where is it? Launching. Time left. It didn't print out. Oh, yeah, it did. Sorry. This is the first thing where it's getting all the stuff lined up. Total scene 79. Pick scene 58. Oh, clip duration. That's what I'm looking at. There we go. Somewhere around here. There's the command. And it's doing transitions.json, so that should be the right thing. All right, whoops, come here. Wait, is this doing two? Oh, wait a minute. Test integration, remove. This is because this is doing two of them. You know, what would be helpful is to actually throw this to someplace where I can see it. Hang on, what's going on? It's not resetting. But I didn't think. Four, hey, it's 420. We'll change it. it. Says hello, I'm Winston Wolf. I solve problems. He's my spirit animal. G R A. Ah, oh, I spelled integration wrong. So I'll bet I know what's happening. Uh, but I don't know exactly what's happening. I'm not resetting. Boom. <laughs> Remember how I said I didn't need to reset that thing? But this actually goes through. Yeah, seriously. Um, how about if I do this right here? We get better results. Okay, now what the hell's going on? Okay, this time. Making transitions, making transitions. So it's doing two files. Got to get to. Is it just that it's in the wrong directory? That'd be funny. Um, NASA assembler, maybe? What is this? Transitions must equal number of videos minus one. Making transitions that should have printed out. Why didn't it print out the other? I'm not resetting something. I'm not resetting durations. Or I'm appending durations. 
for what the hell's going on? Yeah, see, it should be printing it out. I'm super confused right now. There's only the one. It's looping twice, and I don't know why it's looping twice. I must be calling something. I bet I'm calling something twice. I mean, duh. I bet this is still getting called somewhere. See if this explodes somewhere else now. No. I'm confused. Test integrations. All right, we're in test integrations. We're giving it an MP3 path. We're giving it an output route. We're giving it some clips. Random seed of one. Let's start taking out stuff that we shouldn't need. Shouldn't need that. Shouldn't need that. Shouldn't need that. Shouldn't need that. 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 I just want to test this file real quick while I'm moving all this stuff out. Everything exploded. Can cat to, oh, okay, yeah, we're not doing that. This goes away. Still missing one. This is, it's gotta be that one, right? Crazy prams to, should be throwing them in there. Displacement. Wait one. Crazy burn from what's going on? I can't I can never read these things. That only returned two things. Or it expected two things. What? It's not that. What the hell is going on? Oh, uh, okay. That's still in there. Okay. Wait a minute. Maybe we're getting better. Okay, that works. That works. I don't know how, what happened. Cause it should only be making one file. Is it somehow going through it twice? I don't know.
Here's the fun part of waiting for transcoding to happen. Yeah, see, I'd like to have a log of all this stuff so I actually know what its decisions are so I can actually kind of go keep an eye on it and figure that out. So I'll probably add that in a minute, but or maybe not in a minute, but at some point. My computer's slow when it's rendering. What performance for this query? I don't understand. How what's going on here? <laughs> Average position 89. Wait, am I on like the 10th page of Google for Python logging? Eight. Maybe it's not the 10th. I don't know how many are on a page. Is that what it's saying? Like 89? Like you're up that high? Can't tell if Bado3 CloudWatch logs is, I think, related to my stuff. It's actually not an interesting idea. Um, Though that'd be weird because then I'd have to be like, I mean, I'm online anyways, right? I'm connected. That's interesting. I'd kind of rather be on the machine though, especially if I'm just running something local. Um, yeah, that's interesting though. Well, then you'd have to deal with which account I was on would be the only problem with Bado, right? Or not the only problem, but a problem with Bado. Maka logging adapter when it detects local run. That's interesting. No, it's interesting. But then I'd also have to like deal with so this is just a purely local thing like but then i have to go deal with getting them out too right versus just opening a text file um which i'm assuming i would be able to do wow what is this this is i've not this seems bad what's going on here Developer shotgun software to compile API modules, logging HTML. So he wrote logging. Shotgun software. I don't know what that is. See, this is. I still don't understand what this is. I'm not going to click on it because it was somehow it likes my site for that oh if only logging examples were better wish the documentation was better at examples no this one's straight local like i was looking at doing AWS stuff but like this machine over here has been running for 72 hours even if i got a semi like no matter what box i would get over there it would be expensive because this is only done like i don't know a couple hundred out of five thousand or maybe not a couple hundred maybe a hundred so like i may i may play around with one on there on amazon just to like see what the difference is between like a micro and one of the big ones but this project is not something i'm going to put like dollars dollars into 
Oh, that's pretty funny. <laughs> yeah, could do that, couldn't I? Hmm. It's not a bad idea. And like, hey, we got plenty of stuff on EFS, right? There's a lot of space that hanging out there that we could. Uh, I could fill up however many terabytes of space we need pretty quickly to get us into burstable. I wish FFmpeg didn't go to send out to error because it always freaks me out. Yeah, hundred hundred percent utilization. Don't don't pay for or don't have unutilized capacity, right? All right, so we give her this. This had, okay, so we, we took care of this. We took care of this. See, I'm still just trying to make this first video, by the way, which will give you some idea of the horsepower. Of course, I've got a bunch of crap open, so. <laughs> yeah, Pandas is, is, I've only started playing with that, like, I don't know, a few weeks back when Josh was showing it to me. And like, I'm never using the CSV module in Python again. Like, Pandas is so much better for doing that stuff. Memory be damned. Whoops, it was all that. There we go. I was saying random isn't being used. That seems odd. Am I calling it twice? There's no way. Oh, random for random. There we go. That's why. Oh, deleting the comments, deleting the comments. I also want to adjust, I'm going to cut down. So this thing will filter videos less than three seconds. I'm going to make it less than two. Point five. Yeah. Point five. Point five. I don't know if that's gonna work or not. I'm assuming that'll work. Why does it keep jumping like every now and then it just jumps like that? It's so weird. Hackers. Oh. Test one oh one passed. Oh, yeah. I wrote all these the other night. So I've got like 15, 1600 different transitions, the different transitions at uh, at all the different times. So I could actually see like burn or whatever. That was last night's project. Okay, I think this is where I'm going, right? Let me just check and see if this is really where this is. Integration. of NASA similar test routes. Where do we write it to? Output dir tests, output root. Okay. Dev, assembler tests, output root. All right, let's see what it did. Ooh, a little hashing going on. Whoa. 
that happened way more frequently than I thought. It's a little more, it's more transit. Okay. I know what's going on. I'll just make sure it fades out here at the end. I know what's going on. The, so the transition load I gave it is not the full set of transitions. Yeah, I just put in a future. Yeah, so it's only doing this batch of transitions. The real one will do way, a way different set of transitions. Um, I don't want nearly that many like of the fancy ones going. I was kind of fun there for a minute, but that got a little, that got to be a little much. All right, so that worked. So. And that was called, so that was the MP3 integration. Wait, what is this? Oh, okay. And that's passing the transitions in. So here's this. And we're just doing So we're just going straight to the config path. So we're going to here. I don't have a good setup for my configs for how to like go between, you know, prod and not. Okay, this is the smoke tests. Yeah, see, so here's all the transitions. So this will be more, and there should be way more fades. Where's fade? Probably in the Fs. Yeah, one, uh, 200 each. So I've got random weights happening for, um, yeah. But like, like if I've got a command line script, for example, I mean, I guess you could set it up, but like, I'd be worried, like, I'm always worried that whichever environment I run in, I'm going to accident, like, you'd have to set it up for prod, right? Because if you've got a command line script, somehow or the other, you have to identify in prod to say, hey, go do the prod stuff. But whichever way you do that, either with something that's there or something that's not there, you could screw that up on dev and then end up writing to prod, right? I just don't have a good, like, because I'm doing, I'm doing on the same machine, right? Um, so like what I'm doing right now is when I run this, where'd it go? So I set a primary config path and I set a dev config path. And then if the dev path exists, it goes to dev. So as long as the dev file is there, it's fine, which it should be right. But if I move it for whatever reason, then all of a sudden it's going to be using prod config. Like it just feels like there's. I don't think you put something and like, I don't have it deployed. I don't know. It's just weird. I still need to get a better way on handling that. Hello. I believe in you. That's one of my favorite sayings. I believe in you. Just trying to figure out where to put config stuff. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to run this and see what happens. Cause it might make us some videos. No. Oh, whoops. I didn't take that out. We got a hard no. How's your Thursday going? I believe. Oh, nice. Big dog, little dog. I, I'm not. I'm not going to take a fight in that one way or the other. Big dog school, little dog school. Cats. Yeah. 
so that's test. This is test. We don't need those. We need this, and we need NAS assembler. That's not there. All right, now what happens if we hit this? It still explodes. Load config. Okay, what am I doing? Somewhere. Aha, let's get all these out. Version all the things. Video already exists. Okay, well, yep, yeah, that's true. Storage, dev, NASA assembler, output. There we go. Delete it. We just have one video in there? Yep, yeah, I guess so. All right, take two, seven. Little dog, big bark. Nice. Uh, is it one of the dogs where big bark until you like take two steps at it? Or is it like not realize that it's a little dog and definitely will get right up in your face and get on you? Because I've seen that happen a fair amount. Why is there a big red error up here? One error, one weak warning. Nah, <laughs> nice. Yeah, used to have a dog, big, like, eh, medium-sized dog. Uh, don't have one now, kind of, maybe maybe getting close to time to get another dog. Are you, uh, are you stateside? Are you enjoying Thanksgiving, or are you just somewhere else and enjoying Thursday? It is Thursday, right? By the way, Alice, if you're still there, are we... We're just done right now. So we're just, we got to go fix tomorrow. And by we, I mean probably you. Oh, busted. Reinitiate the filters. Failed to inject frame into filter network. Invalid argument. Error processing. What does that mean? Failed to inject frame into filter network. No idea what that means. Lots of people interrupting other people. Thanksgiving. In a nutshell. I love it. Yeah, I... I didn't travel for Thanksgiving this year. It would have been a small thing anyways, but I just was like, eh, it'd be fine. Kind of use it as an excuse to not go anywhere. Hey, somebody's got the same icon as me. I'm sure if I've been back in power with all the liners, such as Lipsass, I had the same error. Because my images were not all the same size. Resize them again. Yeah, it must be six of an inch. No. That's document on the README. But this has been working for everything. That can't be it. Unless there's different clips in there. Is that a different clip set? I'm trying to do some video assembly. Um, some ran like making random music videos. But like this. Is one that's used. This is one that's used, right? Yeah, because we saw the dude in there. We just saw that in the other one. So it's used both of them. And now it's going. Ah, <sighs> intermittent problems. Those are fun. I'm going to guess that there's a problem with one of the transition filters. Who wants, oh yeah, okay. I know exactly what's going on. These aren't legit filters because I was gonna copy and paste or copy out all the names. And I didn't do that. How do we replace, replace? Let's replace that with that. And now we actually have filter names. Okay, good. I mean, not good that I did that, but good that I can see what's happening because that was getting concerning. Sweet. 
All right, we're rendering already. Look at that. What do you mean out of memory? Is that a new thing? Are you talking about like your head, Alice? Um, all right. Oh, when I aired out, <laughs> you're in the wrong chat. Um, I mean, whatever. Uh, yeah, I believe there's, I got Slack going here with somebody else because it was, oh, texture must be defined. I don't know what that means. Oh, I'll bet I know what this means. This is probably one of the filters that you're supposed to pass parameters to. Which I put in. They were, I, I think it might work. Because on the samples that I built, where the samples went, like a couple of these. Have names like bow tie with parameter, but they still they still render. Oh yeah, so it does that. It doesn't actually do a bow tie thing. So I'm wondering if that's one of those. If I've got something like with parameter in there. I could look for the word parameter. Oh, whoops! Don't find down there. Don't mess with that. Don't break it. Crazy parameter fun. I bet that's it. Let's see what this does. Nope, that actually did something cool. Well, who knows? All right, still transcoding. Be in my other minute or two. I don't know why. I'm trying to see if I can see one that. I remember having like some parameters with them or whatever, but I don't see one that I remember. Which I didn't really expect to, but whatever. Okay, cool. Uh, I don't know if I want to try and mess with logging tonight or not. Again, I don't know what this. Don't show it for the site. Don't show it for any of my sites. Okay, yeah, so somehow I've got some amount of Google juice. Cool. Oh, tomorrow's Black Friday, right? Oh, and this page is broken. Hello. Now it goes right as I read. Reject it, re whatever it. Yeah, this looks like it's going to be a lot of reading right now. My head's not into that. Oh, this is also that oh, the site that just keeps expanding ads after ads after ads. Did I ever do any Python logging? I did. Logging to a file. Basic config file log. Truncate each time you start up. File mode write. 
Oh, okay. So this is pretty simple. 2016 was the last time I looked at this. I have not done a land Python. Oh, that first thing was a transcoding to do the FFmpeg concatenation, and now it's doing the audio overlay, I think. Yeah, this is cool. I actually don't have anything else to do on this project. That's pretty slick. The The last little bit would just be running some samples, uh, which I can run overnight, and just see how the weighting of all this stuff goes. Um, in terms of like, I don't want too many weird transitions to happen, um, but I want some of them to happen. Uh, and all that is set up by these weights over here. So it makes random picks of these, but then does it by weight. Um, so the, the main one I want to have are these fades, which are faded hundred. It's basically like a smash cut, just like, you know, frame to frame. Uh, and then frame at 500 milliseconds. It's just a really quick fade over but the rest of them is just kind of all over the place but so the fades i'm giving weights of like 200 and these i'm getting weights of like one um because i want to see if we can just have a couple per thing or whatever but i may yeah i don't know i may go down we'll just that that'll be the experience that's that'll be the fine tuning of this like i think i like i think i'm done with the code other than if I want to actually add logging into this, um, which I kind of do. Which can you add logging at the top level? Oh, there we go. Finish zero. So this goes in a smoke test, right? That's where we're headed. Yeah, see, that's the, those are the fades. That's a wipe. Circle, huh. That's actually happening more frequent than I would have expected. Nineteen sixty Visual Studio. <laughs> it's a uh, Visual Studio code with the high contrast going. Um, I was trying to make it look like uh, Tron. Oh, no, I'm sorry. That's PyCharm. But like uh, Visual Studio Code looks even more Tron, like with all the little blue lines. I dig it. Um, but yeah, PyCharm, uh, high contrast. And I bumped, I messed around with the uh, with the colors a little bit. So hopefully it's visible and readable on screen. Yeah, see, most of these are fades. Okay, that's cool. I'll have to mess with the waiting, but I think that's going to be it. So I'm building a random music video assembler out of NASA footage. Um, and so this is kind of a test run. I think I'm just about done with it. Uh, oh, yeah, see, that's a nice overfade, right? Or a longer fade. Actually, I'm kind of digging the transitions here like the spacing of them I do uh know how to do that it's pretty cool so you want to go get python scene detect well I'll show you how to do it this is what you're looking for right here So that stuff will go look at a clip and split it into individual scenes. Uh, and then basically run you out. Uh, so like this 11 is one video and it had 79 scenes in it. So like here's scene 63 that lasted like however long. Uh, and then whatever. Some of them are longer than the others, right? Here's a four second scene for whatever. 
it does a pretty good job about doing the scene detection and doing the splits on it. Sometimes it misses and cuts one too short, but usually it misses. Well, it can go either way. It can miss one and cut it too short, or it can miss it and leave an actual scene change in and have the thing be too long. It's got some parameters that you can mess with to um, to fine tune that a little bit. It, it, it'll walk you through. Uh, actually, this is probably a better link. Oh yeah, yeah, cool. And that's that's super neat. Like this is this is a good place to start with then if that's what you're messing with. Um this actually is probably you want this page too. Uh and so footage wise, so what I'm doing, I've got I've got a project that I want to have some music videos up for, but I need I want to be able to work with them on stream. But you can't do that with live music videos because copyright, like YouTube will copyright kick you. Um, but they have a free music library. So I've got that music, but there's no videos associated with it. So I'm getting public domain footage from NASA, cutting up those videos, reassembling them and adding and pushing it all together um, to make these weird music videos. But it's, it's really kind of to support the, the music, but like it's it's a fun thing to kind of see and do. So uh, what's my background? Uh kind of all over the place uh did photography for a long time but then got into web dev in the late 90s uh and then i go back and forth on it um i haven't done a lot of programming stuff in a while i'm kind of getting back into it as a hobby as part of the stream stuff i don't do that much in the day job but that's one of the reason i'm enjoying streaming so much is is i get to actually like make stuff and code and so fun little project read boss Um, but no, if you, if you do video stuff and development stuff, you'll, you'll get a kick out of this and FFmpeg. Do you know FFmpeg? Filmboard IO. Cool. Oh, cool. I'll watch this over to the side just in case there's copyrighted footage in it. I don't know if there's or not, but. Oh, cool. Pre-production made better. That's pretty slick. Good title. Good tagline. This is pretty slick. Good on you for charging. That's slick. Right on. I like it. Uh no. Oh, FFmpeg? Is that what you, was that what the no was for? Um I need to bring that back because that's how we see things. Uh so this is like kind of low level, but like it does all the things. Um, where am I going? This is my brain. Like, so the that process that did the videos. Um, so once we have the raw assets, once we have the long videos, scene detect goes over it. Scene Detect looks at it and, and does its best job to clip the videos out. So it cuts out the videos. The way it cuts it is it sends a command to FFmpeg that says, start at this timestamp, go to this timestamp, and cut the video. So FFmpeg does the cut. Then there's FFmpeg concat, which 
works with FFmpeg to do the concatenation with the filters over it. Uh, and then I'm using FFmpeg to overlay the audio onto it as well. Um, so it's it's really the engine underneath all that stuff that just happened. Uh, and it's but it like it gets some of the um, like I don't even do much stuff with it, but like uh, let's see. Where's my fade in, fade out one? That's a pretty good one. So like, this is a single command to do a fade in and a fade out. It gets hairy pretty quickly, but like, it can do a lot. You know, I don't know if, if they use it under the hood. No idea. Um, I both would be surprised and wouldn't be surprised. Uh, either way, you told me. Um. But it's it it gets tricky quick. After you get used to it, you can kind of figure out what's going on here. And I used to know, but I couldn't explain it now because it's been a while since I've looked at it. Uh, but it is powerful. Um, yeah, you can just kind of look through all the stuff and like it deals with encoders and encodings and IBP frames and like all of it. Um, and it's, but it's pretty good. Cause there's a bunch of like every question I've ever had just for my basic stuff, there's been an answer. Sometimes you have to dig to find it, but they've, they've all been out there. Um, so good luck if you mess with it, it's fun. Um, can be, can be a little intimidating and a little hair pulling, but it still works. Uh, all right. Yeah. So this, that worked. Uh, so I want to try one. Actually, I don't know if I've got, I was going to say I was going to throw more clips at it, but I don't actually have that many more clips on this machine. They're all on the other one. They're not on the NAS. Um, yeah, I mean, that's it. That's working. That is the wrong repository. There we go. Uh, No, actually, I want to get rid of that file. Because they're all, all those are in here now. Right? Yeah. 70 something. Yeah, cool. So that goes away. Somehow, where's delete? There it is. weird. I thought I just deleted that. Uh, whatever. It's fine. Moved using transitions V2 and not overloading Scenes, scenes. And then let's actually look at the readme. Oh, it didn't delete. I wonder, it's still showing up there. Safe delete with user search, searching comments on strings. Occurrences found in comments. Those occurrences will not, oh. Do refactor? Huh, okay. Guess that's safe. Okay, so we made sure that's good. Add feature transitions, yep. Reduce longer clips. Okay, so that's a separate app. So the, the one thing I need to do is, um, or one of the things I could do is uh, <laughs> get CLI, get out of here. I can do it, but like when you have all those transitions and all that stuff, it's like, ah, I just want to do this part and this part or whatever. So easier to do. See, now it's gone. Delete. 
Uh, yeah. I kind of want to do any logging stuff tonight. Because for some reason, I'm brain dead right now. That possibly somebody watching the stream knows something about. Uh, where's I gotta go? Yeah, long game. <laughs> this is true. He did. Uh, and did it prove helpful? Yes. All right. Um, what's the other thing I was gonna do? Yeah. Oh, you added more? Nice. We shouldn't... Yeah, it's not worth turning that box off, is it? Because um, we're just going to start it up tomorrow, so it's like, that would save like eight bucks or something, right? Which, not to sniff at eight bucks, because that's a, you know, burger and a fry or something, but... Um, all right, I'm kind of probably not going to do anything else tonight because I kind of don't want to mess with stuff. So I had, nah, yeah, I think I'm about done. I'm going to chill out for the rest of the evening. I think that's what's going to happen. I may come back in a little while and just make some animated GIFs, but that'll be in the dark. So, uh, but for now, y'all have a good one. We'll see you next time. And, uh, be safe out there and take care and happy uh, Thursday or Thanksgiving, whichever it is for you. Bye.